We are back with a very special guest, one of our favorites here <laughs> Friday morning. Dateline's Keith Morris is bringing us a preview of tonight's season premiere that you do not want to miss. It's a high-profile murder, an international manhunt, and seemingly open-and-shut case that may not be so cut and dry after all. We're going to talk to Keith in just a moment, but first, here's a preview. It's unlikely victim last May, 25-year-old cycling phenom Mariah Wilson shot to death in Austin, Texas. The search for an equally unlikely suspect made international headlines. That suspect? 34-year-old Caitlin Armstrong. She's intelligent, speaks multiple languages, from what I understand, licensed realtor, taught yoga. And yet, here it was, video of what looked like Caitlin's SUV at the scene of the crime around the time Mariah was killed. Had this complicated bike rack on it. So it's pretty unique, captured on surveillance video. And then a ballistics test suggested Caitlin's gun was the murder weapon. It's very strong evidence. As for motive, well, Caitlin's boyfriend, bike racer Colin Strickland, had had a fling with Mariah. But before police could arrest Caitlin, she vanished. And a few days later, a sandy-haired yoga instructor named Ari turned up in a tiny beach town in Costa Rica. She didn't say much, and she kind of did that trick. You answer with a question. <laughs> so she asked, asked a lot of questions and answered a lot of times with questions. It was the yoga that tipped off law enforcement. Boom, all of a sudden, three cops walked in. They were asking for her documents. She just kept giving weird answers. And I was even like, whoa, this girl's obviously lying and hiding something. After 43 days on the lam, Caitlin Armstrong's ride ended with her arrest, indicted for the murder of Mariah Wilson. Bail was set at 3.5 million. If convicted, she'll face 99 years in prison. But case closed? Hardly. Caitlin Armstrong has a robust defense and a very confident defender. Caitlin Armstrong is not guilty. And if this case goes to trial, she will be found not guilty. Oh, boy. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Dateline's Keith Morrison is with us. And, um, let's start there with the defense. I mean, what makes, what makes Caitlin's well, defense I, team so I, confident? I, that, that defense attorney came on very strong. Uh, everybody's got this wrong. It's really just a misogynistic view of this woman, which has got us all thinking, you know, she's a scorned woman. Of course she did it. Um, and then he began to take it apart one thing by one thing. The, uh, the, the cops got the clock wrong. The, uh, the, uh, you know, the evidence was twisted. The gun wasn't necessarily her gun. The, uh, you know, and it goes on and on. So, so and and that maybe nothing happened when the prosecution believed it happened. It, 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 we don't know. We'll so, so where is the case right now? Where are we? Well, waiting? this was going to be a, a case which went to an early trial, an unusually early trial in October. But now that isn't going to happen. Okay. Have, um, uh, and... The, <laughs> The uh, judge has agreed to a kind of a, what amounts to uh, a publication ban, so uh, nobody can talk about the case anymore. But we have what we have before we can, uh, before before that happened, and uh, so we can tell the story. And there are lots of fascinating characters involved and strange behaviors that occurred over a period of several months as the U.S. Marshals are looking for this woman. And, and Interesting you... diversionary tactics that she took, took yeah. to prevent being caught. Um, but then this very robust defense of her once she got back. But you, in tonight's episode, you did actually talk to some locals who knew Caitlin after she fled to Costa Rica. Right. I'm sure they right. provided some insight. They provided very interesting insights, yes, of this person named Ari who mm -hmm. fit into the local scene as quickly as she could and, you know, made some local friends. Okay. So that fellow you saw was kind of a boyfriend, not quite. But oh, okay. the guy on the rocks there? Yeah. Surfer, surfer, dude. Yeah. surfer dude. You look like you interviewed him when he was still wet. <laughs> I, I think he's been surfing every day of his entire life. <laughs> Keith <Thanks> Morrison. <laughs> no one tells a story like Keith Morrison and the folks at Dateline. You can watch that two-hour, 31st season premiere of Dateline tonight. 9 Eastern, 8 Central, right here on NBC. Keith was 12 when he started. <laughs> <laughs> More than 100 years ago. <laughs> Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.